This is Fran. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making an old-fashioned southern chocolate cake with yellow layers. Let's get started. I'm doing it to cheer myself up. I'm actually making this cake for me. I thought a chocolate layer cake that reminded me of when I was growing up. My mom would make this cake an awful lot and she would put pecans on top and I'm going to do the same thing. And she would just put like three little um, pecans up on top of it and it would look really pretty and that's exactly what I'm going to do today and we're going to make this cake and we're going to eat it and we're going to enjoy it so I hope you will make it also so let's make a chocolate yellow layer cake okay now so we are going to pull all these ingredients together I'm a little bit behind so there is two there's two cups I love this two cup measuring cup, one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Okay, we need three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One going to sift my sugar. So we're going to use one and a half cups. There's my half a cup of sugar. And we're going to need one more. I think I just might have enough. I have got to stock up my kitchen on some supplies. I really do. I need some sugar and just a few little things. Oh, I'm glad we sifted. Okay, so now we're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. I'm just using regular salt. Oh yeah, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I'm always forgetting that. Okay, we are gonna use one tablespoon of vanilla extract. If I used imitation vanilla, it would really, I don't have any, and I would have used it if I had it because it would have tasted just like my mom's cake growing up. Now we're gonna put in three large eggs. And these are at room temperature. That vanilla does smell really good. Now we need one eighth cup of vegetable oil. And so this is a fourth. I'm just gonna fill it halfway full. You're going to put in one stick of unsalted butter. But to be, I would, if I was using salted butter, I would just leave out the salt. Now we're gonna put in one and one fourth cup of whole milk. See how quick that was? <laughs> I snap. This is a great idea to make on a Friday and you can have it all weekend long. Okay. Now, so we're just gonna beat this up. Kind of start out on low speed. Scrape the bowl, make sure we've got it all. I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Comment below, hit the like button. I upload now, I have a set schedule now for my videos and I will be uploading every Tuesday, Thursday, 
and Sunday at 12 p.m. Okay, we're gonna let this set for a few minutes and we're gonna get our cake pans out and get those ready for this cake batter. Guess what, y'all? I didn't forget my cake strips. I can't believe it. I did put them where my cake pans were, though, this time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, I love them cake strips. I am going to grease these. I'm going to use some parchment paper, but I am going to grease them just like my mom did when we were little. I just keep some shortening in here to grease my pans and some flour in another small container. And that way I don't have to get everything out. I'm just gonna put the parchment paper right down here. I wonder if I should make three layers. I kinda would like a three layer cake. Oh, that would look so good. I think I am, I wanna make three layers. I'm gonna have to go get another cake pan. Oh yeah, we're doing three. When you were growing up, what was your favorite thing your mom made? My favorite food that my mom made was banana sandwiches and fried chicken. But I have to, I have to probably say this was one of my favorite cakes growing up as far as cakes go. And my mom can make, made other desserts also, but this was actually one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna coat the side these pans. I don't want anything to stick. I need to get one more cake pan just like this because I'm going to make a three layer cake. Okay, I gotta add another cake pan. I'm just gonna grease the bottom a little because we're gonna put the parchment paper down, but mainly the sides. And if you have Baker's Joy, you can use it. I'm just Reminiscing about old today. Re reminiscing about my childhood today. You don't even have to be older to reminisce. If you're young, you can make up your own traditions that your kids love. You know, your kids have things that they love their mom to make. I don't know what my kids... Oh, German chocolate cake was my oldest son's favorite and what was my probably peanut butter brownies anything peanut butter my son like sandwich mess <laughs> just flour in a pan right? we're gonna clean it up it's not a big deal okay here's my cake pans i am just going to lay a piece of parchment paper in there You can also take just a little bit and just kind of put it up, spread it on the top, just about your index finger full. You don't need very much. All right, so now we need three of them. Like I said, they are not pretty, but we're gonna wet them. We're gonna wet them down. And then we're going to wrap it around the cake pan. Just take it and just... These are cotton. Just kind of squeeze them out. There's our little loop right here. There's actually two loops on here. below if you've ever used a cake strip. They're very inexpensive, but they really work. And I do advise you put these on before you put the cake batter in. There you go. That's 
that's what it looks like and your cakes are going to come out so even <laughs> they're just going to come out even and pretty number two and they come in different colors my favorite kitchen tool is a cake strip cake strips are on now we're going to fill up our three cake layers we do want them pretty much even This smells, smells like home. Gonna tap out the air. Then I'm gonna let these sit here for about five minutes and then we're gonna get them into that oven. I'm just gonna let them sit and kind of marry. All right, I'm gonna get my kitchen straightened up so we can get that chocolate frosting with three little pecans on top done. We are going to put these cake pans in our 350 degree oven for about 18 minutes. I'm so excited I got those cake strips on. I just can't, I can't wait. They're gonna be beautiful. So now we are going to get on that chocolate frosting. <laughs> I am doubling my frosting recipe because this is a three layer cake. I want a lot of frosting. I want my middle to have frosting on it. So I'm, I hate running out. We're gonna need one cup of melted unsalted butter. One cup. Now I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. I'm making my frosting from the frosting on the back of the Hershey's unsweetened cocoa. That's what my mom did. And that's what I'm gonna do. It says melt the butter and then stir in the cocoa. And so I will need two thirds cup of Hershey. So I will need four one third cups because we're doubling this. So one. Three. I have to count or I'll forget. <laughs> Let's check on that butter. One cup. Perfect of melted butter. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Even though it's not sweet, it still smells so good. Such an easy cake. And I'm glad I'm gonna have it all weekend. We're gonna eat on this all weekend. I could even invite somebody over. I might invite someone over just because I got this cake ready. Because sometimes you can invite someone over for a meal. You can throw out any, but to throw a dessert together that is just mind blowing is really hard to do sometimes. Butter and the hot cocoa are put together. This recipe calls for three cups of powdered sugar. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it in. So we're going to use one third cup of whole milk. And then the recipe calls for one teaspoon of vanilla. But it don't hurt to add a little more. I like that. 
You can make cupcakes with this. You really can. Be so good. You know what, guys? <laughs> I forgot I was doubling this recipe. <laughs> I kept thinking, what is wrong with this? Duh, I need three more cups of sugar. <laughs> oh my goodness. thought something weren't right. Oh my goodness. So now I need another third cup of milk. And I might as well go ahead and add another teaspoon of vanilla. What's it going to hurt? It's not. Oh, I kept thinking, what is wrong with this Frosting. It was tasting really bitter. And I'm like, no, wait a minute. Why would it taste bitter with all that sugar? Because I didn't double the recipe. Just going to kind of scrape it around the bowl, make sure we get all that powdered sugar in. And we're going to run the mixer about another half a minute or so just to get it incorporated real good. Let me taste this just to make sure. We need a taste tester, of course. That's the chocolate icing that I remember. Done. Now, it would have been a disaster if I had not caught my mistake. But this is just so creamy and beautiful, and it tastes like when I was a little girl. Okay, so now I'm going to clean up this so when the cakes get come out of the oven, see that didn't take no time, I'll be able to frost my cake, and it's just going to be so good. I'm so excited about this, and I'm going to start my weekend off right with just an old-fashioned Southern cake. And I'm going to take my mama and my daddy some. Yes, I am. Okay, I just took my cakes out of the oven. The difference in ca using cake strips is unbelievable. Look how flat that is and how light it is on top. I do not like dark um, cake. And look at that. It comes out clean, perfectly clean. But the top is not dark. How gorgeous, just how gorgeous. A little old cake strip. Just pure cotton is what it is. Just a cotton, ugly, they're pretty when they go on, but they don't look pretty when they come off, but just throw them in that bag. I'm so glad I remembered them today. And we're gonna get this cake frosted as soon as it cools. I can hardly wait, but look how pretty that is. Every one of them, Every one of these cakes turned out the same. Just perfect. See how, uh, just a perfect, perfect cake. And I'm not bragging because the cake strips actually do the work. The cake strips are the secret. See how easy these just comes right off. I did want to let everybody know we did have a winner for our mini, our Panda mini rice cooker. And it went out to her last night. And I'm so excited about that. I hope she enjoys it. Her name is Jenny. I'm just taking these cake strips. They don't have any cake or anything like that on them. They're just not the pretty. Now, if they had cake or, you know, something like that, oil or something on them, I would just, I would take them and wash them. But these are just going right back in my bag. And if I can remember, they'll be used for my next cake. And I'm always making it. I just got to remember, I'll put these in with my cake pans from now on and then I won't forget. I did double the chocolate, didn't I? I did, I did. <laughs> I'm just, I did, I'll have to go back and look at my, my footage, but I'm pretty sure that I put two, two, yes, I did. Okay. Okay guys, our cake is all cool. We're gonna frost it, cause I want a piece of cake. Okay, I'm gonna use my old cake plate today. We're gonna stir around our frosting a little bit. 
put just a little dab right there in the center. We want our cake to stay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're just gonna start. I'm gonna get me one of those um, the cake spinners. What is it, the Lazy Susan that the cakes spin on? I'm gonna get me one soon. And I cannot find any of my cake plates. <laughs> I have no clue what I did with them. My glass tops, I have no clue. Spread goes on like hot butter. Awesome. I put three large spoonfuls on it because I made all that frosting and I want to eat that frosting. Another layer. Spoonful. Yes. I called my mom and told her I was making this cake today. And I said, do you want a piece? She said, yes, I do. She will definitely be getting a piece in a little while. See how uniform this cake is? It's because I use those cake strips. Butter knife, because that's the way my mom used to do it. Nothing fancy. I think she still does it this way. We could have used a little doily or paper towel, but I'm just going to use a paper towel when it's all over. What a pretty cake. Okay, I did not get this too messy around the plate. Okay, I have three little pecans. I'm gonna set them right here in the middle, just like my mom would do. And now I have my chocolate layer Chocolate yellow flare cake. This right here is beautiful. This right here, we're gonna taste it. Look at the little pecans. That's just like my mama would do. I think it's gorgeous. I can't wait to slice it. Okay, let's cut it. This is my chocolate layer cake. Look how even, let's taste it. This tastes just like my mom's cake. Brings me back to a very happy time.